in this example, uh, the user sent this to me and wanted to be able to use just one of these fish hooks. When they deleted out this back one, which is logical to delete out the back one since it's missing the middle part, it also deleted part of the outline for the front hook. If you look down here on block 19, you see that when the digitizer created this, they had created the outline as part of the bottom fish hook. So what we need to do is we need to split these apart. So since this is block data, it was originally a CND file. When we select the block in block edit, we can see the block points. It's not like stitch edit. So we click our right mouse button, split block, manually split block. Now I just draw a line across where I want to split this block. It's important to go across the line. This is simple with a running stitch, but if you have a column, you make sure you go completely across it. Once you have your line drawn where you want to split, click your right mouse button. And you'll see that now these are two separate blocks. It's also done on the top one here. So we do the exact same thing. We block edit, click on the block, right click, split block, manually split, draw our line, click and drag, and right click. And now it's split off. So now all we have to do is select these blocks, click and drag. We don't have to get them completely. We just need to touch them. And we want to delete these. And the same here. And we have our fish hook. 